No? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, when I do, where do, you, do you feel any pain when I do that? Where do you feel pain? Where do you feel pain? Oh, where do you feel pain? So, the, this is a exacerbation of neck pain, right? So, neck pain gets worse. But, uh, the distraction positive is really for varying pain. So, uh, actually, the test, when you write down, it's negative. Because positive finding is really for pain, really for varying pain. Right, so, you write down, Negative distraction mm. is significant finding neck pain. But it's negative because positive finding is really for pain, okay. really for radiating pain. Twelve. Twelve and thirteen depends on only one side. Okay. Oh. Yeah, because of uh, it becomes a uh, non-cumulative. It used to be a cumulative, right? So, uh, for non-cumulative, there will be a six part. You perform four. You have eight minutes to perform it, okay? And when you exceed eight minutes, just like a meter, I'm going to cut out one point by minute, okay? So, but when you practice and you don't get nervous, then it's plenty of time, actually. A lot of people finish it before that, but when you start to get confused and get nervous and your brain gets blacked out, then who knows when it's going to finish. Okay. Uh, okay. For 12 and 13, same question. Edison said, I'm going to perform Edison test first. Edison test, take a first. change of first value, which means the first quality, you're looking for change of first quality. That's what you mean for change of first value. Okay? That's Edison test. For reverse Edison, is take a deep breath in, keep your head up, all the way up, turn your head to the other side. Reverse Edison okay? 12 and 13. Okay? Number 14 and 15. Number 14 and 15, you have to do bilaterally. Number 14, 15, you have to do bilaterally. Post of clavicular test. Um, okay, when I told you to bring your head, uh, show up and down, I mean bring it up like this and back down like that. Changing of first body. Take a deep breath in and hold your breath and bring your shoulder back and up and down. Okay. That's a post of clavicular test. You can breathe. Right. And for rice test, is this? It's a post. 
course, we do it this way. But I think I told you in the, during the class, when I uh, revision myself, I mean, when I, when I hold the patient's hand, and when I try to bring it up, uh, I tend to grab tighter. So I usually, uh, I find out my, I lose my sensitivity in my finger. So I usually put my hand on patient's uh, hurt, and then I grab patient's arm to bring it up. Okay? Do that. You're looking for the ch changing of hurt volume. Right side. Right side, uh, let's say changing the first volume on the right side was like this, this much, and this side was this much, and this is a positive side. Understand? When you perform the test, changing volume was on the right side was this much, and the other side was this much, then this is the side that is positive. Okay, that's why you have to do both sides of right side. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'm going to do together sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine. Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay. For Dolburn's push button test is. Find the acromion. Find the AC joint. And a little bit lateral to it, that's acromion. Just below the acromion, palpate the space, or just below the acromion. Is this sensitive? Yes. Okay. Then you put, do not move your finger, put your finger on that area that you just palpated. Okay. And then ask the patient, can you hold your arm up like this? Can you hold it up? Okay. And then you press it one more time. How, how do you feel now? Is it better? Same words. Still sensitive? patient bring it up, the arm up, and the pain gets better, then it's positive for Dover's push button. Okay? That's the first side is, all right? And supraspinal press test is, can you bring your arm? Suppose in the hand up 90 degree at A reduction, flexion 30 degree, and uh, 15 degree downward. I think. Thank you. Okay. But I just watch the patient's muscle. You're testing for supraspinatus muscle. As long as this muscle is just looks straight aligned with the arm, and that's the right area to put it on top. Okay. So you put your as a patient. Uh, bring, put the patient's arm in this position, 90, 90 degree at the abduction, 30 degree forward, and 10 degree down and thumb down. Okay. One more time. Hold that right here. Okay. Stabilize patient's body. I'm going to push this down, you push it up. Ready? Up. Oh. Any pain? Put it down. Okay, that's a supraspinalis press test. Okay. Remember the MP here can test? Right? And remember more back there, you know. Come on. Okay. Uh, yoga sense test. Yoga 
important test is you have to find the, uh, <coughs> the groove on humerus. Okay? It's right here. A lot of people are sensitive. And ask the, you have to ask the patient, can you put your elbow close to your body? Okay. Try not to move, um, bring uh, your elbow out. Or, uh, do not bring do not bring your elbow away from your body. Okay. And you're gonna hold the patient's arm, hands, I mean. Okay. And then I'm gonna do do this thing, like that. And you're gonna uh, against it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay. And you are intention on here. It, this one is not really matter. Your intention is here, you're looking for popping sensation on here or slipping slip pieces sensation on the this finger. Okay, that's a positive finding. Okay. So you have to do it one more time. Okay. I'm gonna bring your arm okay, like this way. And you're gonna against it. Ready? Okay. Your intention once again is here. That's a yoga sense step. Nineteen and twenty. <coughs> Gonna do it together. Okay. Hojun test. Oh, uh, you remember the C six muscle test? It was a uh, bring the make a face and bring the patient's arm and fist up, right? And then you push it down. But Hojun test, you gonna patient's <coughs> wrist is flat, neutral position. Make a fist and bring it close to your body. Is that okay? Okay. Um, then stabilize patient's wrist. Okay. I'm gonna push this down. You're gonna push your fist up to the ceiling. Okay. Ready? Push it up. Push it up. Push it up. Okay. Here you go. Okay. So movement for the patient is same, but it's a little bit different. The starting position C6 is right here, like this. But coldness is neutral. You have to bring the patient's fist upward. C6 is you, or you have to put the patient into extension. See the difference between coldness versus C6? Okay. And whole force elbow is this, and bring fist this way. Okay. <clears throat> Same thing. C7 muscle test you perform from here, right? But whole force elbow is start from here. C seven start from here. Whole force elbow start from here. Okay. And of course you have to stabilize patients. Wrist. Can you bring your fist this way? Okay. I'm gonna push this down. You're gonna push your push your fist up to the ceiling. Push it up. That's a whole force elbow. Okay? But actual movement itself is similar. Though. Okay? But uh, balance test and prayer sign. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the prayer sign first. Okay, can you do this? Can you put your palm together like this? And bring it down like this. And hold it in that position for a minute. So remember, we have only eight minutes to perform, right? So uh, you better just say, I'm going to hold it in this point for one more minute. Or you can stay a minute to waste your time, and you can cut out your body, you know, if you want to. Okay? And the balance says this, so put your palm up, bring it down. Put your palms together like this, and bring it up like this. Okay? And hold up this position for a minute. Okay? Same thing. You can hold up, ask up your partner to hold up this position one minute, or you can just ask me, like, tell me that you wanna do this position for one minute. That's a balance test. Okay, that's your choice. Thank you so much. Okay, oh, you better pair up and practice. I'll be here to help you if you have any questions.